Hey guys, so I'm back again for a video. I'm glad you made it through my March Madness vlogs. Yes, we made it. I was consistent. Hallelujah. So when you see this video, you'll probably have like one March Madness vlog left that I'm going to upload probably on Wednesday. I want this to go up um, on Monday, which is, I don't know, it's Sunday nights. So I don't know, whatever. It'll get up between Monday and Tuesday. So yeah, we're finally digging into the Minimalist Challenge. It's April 2nd, 3rd, 4th, I don't know. One of those days, and I'm like, look, my classes are really dirty. They stay really dirty, and that's not me being trifling. They just get dirty really easily. Oh, let me show you guys my new glasses. I haven't got medicine in them yet. I legit just went off on a tangent, right? Um, but give me a thumbs up if you think I should keep these glasses. Because I'm kind of on the fence. Oh, now I see how they're blue. I'm kind of on the fence about these glasses. Like, I feel like certain days I'll like them, but they're not like an everyday glasses. So I don't know. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, let me just switch my glasses. My thinking glasses, okay? Thinking glasses. Anyways, so yeah, we're on this minimalist challenge, and we want to just declutter. It's springtime, so the perfect time to do spring cleaning and to do a purge a purge is necessary for your life right now so this week i want you to carve out about an hour or two to go through your closet go through your room and really like find the items that you haven't wore if it's been over six months and it's not a seasonal item get rid of it i mean trash it donate it sell it it was definitely in the opposite order, but trash, it was the first thing that came to my mind. But anyways, so the way I did my purge, I just did my second purge and everything's clean. It's done. I would show you all in my closet, but it's looking really pathetic right now. But that's another thing about our society. We like are so big on having a bunch of stuff and having this crazy closet. And I like to see my money where I like to see my money in my closet or some dumb shit. I read on Twitter one day, but anywho... I did a super purge. Anything that I even said, oh, I like this, I can see myself wearing it, but I haven't worn it, I got rid of it. So the first thing I do is like really good pieces that I know I really didn't wear. If it's a tag on it or something like that, I think it's in good condition, I just sell it. So go, um, if I was selling on like a website I built like super easily, you could do storeenv.com. You can just build your own website, like build your own little storefront really quickly. Take some good photos and voila, you can sell through there. Um, another option, you can make one through Ticktail. You can do Big Cartel. I mean, it's tons of different websites that you can just make really quickly to sell your own clothes. Um, but I really like Store Envy. It's free. It has like marketing already built in there. So it was really simple. Um, eBay, all types of things. So if I didn't sell online, after I started, I stopped selling like all my really good stuff online. I just took up everything and I went to my local Buffalo Exchange. Here in DC, um, there's two locations, one on M Street and then one on 14th Street, on the lower end of 14th Street, almost near Logan Circle. Um, you can also sell your clothes at, I think, Mother's, Martha's Table, which is on 14th Street, but up top of 14th Street, like a block above you. So if you're from the city, but if you're not from the DC area, there's Buffalo Exchange everywhere. I know like they're in Philly, I know they're in New York. They're typically in like cities. So if you're from a city, voila, go sell your clothes. Um, well, I'm pretty sure you can find somewhere else to sell it. Um, so for the clothes that are not sell worthy, you can donate. I'm really big on donating. I donated a lot of my clothes because some of them just were in trend or things like that. And I just feel like sometimes you might know somebody who needs things. Um, younger kids, you could donate them to like high schools or for underprivileged kids, you can donate them. Um, like Martha's Table, for instance, takes donations as well. Um, so yeah, donate your clothes to the military. To, I mean, it's all different types of organizations. You can find little boxes. It's like donation boxes, like at my local, like grocery store, parking lots and stuff like that. It goes to like needy people. So, um, 
I definitely don't end up. And then they're just really trashy ass. Like, I like rips and I like stuff like that and everyone doesn't like that. I just throw them in the trash. Like, old t-shirts, I'm, I just, unless I can find it for a multi-purpose reason, I'm trashing, like, old stuff. So just, like, let's clear out, guys. Um, this is the challenge for the week, for the minimalist challenge. It's, the first thing you have to do is purge. Whether that be purging your closet, whether you have a shit ton of magazines. Look, I was that girl who had every magazine for, like, a whole five, six years. Legit, from, like, middle school all the way up until college and I got rid of all that shit like back in August because I was like let, let's be serious you know trends repeat just repeat each, repeat themselves so I was like looking in old magazines like this is what's in the current magazines I don't need all of this shit like it's a bunch of wasted paper so I recycled it so yeah if you just have a lot of shit sitting around clear your space okay it'll just do wonders for the mind so Leave your comments below if you have any tips or tricks of how you did your purge. And Instagram it, Snapchat it, um, hashtag it, Wendy in the City Purge. Um, let's make this a community effort. I really want to see some photos of you all cleaning out, selling, donating. This is where the start is going to be, and then we're going to move on into it. So, don't forget to like, subscribe, thumbs up, whatever, share it. Let me tell you, we're all going to be better people once we make it through this week of Purge. Next week, we're going to have some uplifting things to talk about. You're going to enjoy the vlog, which will be up to like tomorrow or something like that. And then we're going to regroup after the Purge. Go ahead and buy you some ice cream after you Purge or, you know, treat yourself. A little treat. That doesn't mean go shopping. We're going to get to that next, okay? Don't shop after you Purge this week. Come back next Monday, and then we'll be talking about what's the next steps, okay? I will have a shopping guide, because let me tell you, if you know me, like, IRL in real life, you know I'm about, like, shopping and looking good. But it's a way to do it. We're being minimalists. And for me, you remember I told you guys, minimalist is not like, oh, I wear black and white only, even though I have black on and my walls are black and white. That's not the point. It's more so about... Not being, like, stuck on, like, what society pushes at us. Like, you need this, you need this, and you need more and more. No, I don't. You really don't. I have to catch myself, and we don't need to shop all the time. So I'm going to have a cool guide for you guys next week about how to transition from your purging moment to your shopping moment. And how to shop smart and not spend too much money. So, yeah. Hope you all enjoyed this. Check out the vlog on Tuesday or Wednesday, and I'll see you guys next week after the purge for the shopping guide. Okay, kisses. Love you guys. Oh my god, guilty pleasures. Guilty pleasures. It's Mew Mew. So cute. It's velvet. That's like half the reason I bought this, these eyeglasses. Because the case was like so cute cute yes it is it's gonna be it's going really cute i got these from amira's launch party i'm addicted to gum and gummy worms and gummy bears but only the sour gummy worms and only the haribo gummy bears so if you want to send me a cute little package, you know what to send me, okay? Bubblegum and gummy bears.